a person trying to commit an act of, act of terror and intimidate people. Terry, why does this keep happening in, in that particular area or in London? Well, it's happening in London, I believe, and this is just my opinion, but it's happening there more because their immigration situation is out of control. Again, I don't know who this person is, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if we find out this is someone who came in there recently and uh, is now just turning against the country. We're, we're bringing people into a lot of countries in Western civilization who are just not assimilating, and they don't want to assimilate, and uh, they don't want to accept... Uh, where they live is, uh, you know, for the, for the same reasons we've always had people want to immigrate to, say, the United States, where they want to become part of the, the society. They want to have their own society that they bring with them, and uh, they want to continue to, to fight with right. the ideology uh, against us. Uh, Terry. And Terry, it, it's such a simple attack. As it turns out, this uh, Ford Fiesta was uh, crossing, uh, going down the street 50 miles an hour. Apparently, there were 10 bicyclists uh, waiting for the light to change and a bunch of pedestrians, and he just swerved over tried to hit as many of them as he could, and then tried to get through the, the uh, Ballard uh, barricade thing and did not. Just pretty much came to a stop right then. And given that kind of detail, it, it's definitely an attack. So we'll just have to wait a little while mm -hmm. to see what this particular person's motive was. But whether it's a car or it's uh, somebody running down the street with a machete or, uh, or they have a firearm or they're placing bombs, I mean, it... Uh, mm -hmm. One way or the other, people are going to get hurt, and yeah. uh, they're trying to send us a message. They're trying to say, look, we're going to keep doing this until you, you kind of pick up uh, and fold. And uh, obviously, we're not going to do that. And particularly today with President Trump, I think the message is very clear, right. and I, I hope the FBI is, is right there on the front lines, too, that we're, we're vigilant eternally here, and we're going to fight this to mm -hmm. the end.